So we've been looking at the robot over there. The other half is the guts of the system, the electronics that makes everything work. Up here is the robot computer. In an automation world, they don't call them computers, they call them controllers, because in addition to operating the wrists as we've been looking at, it has to operate the whole environment, the whole work cell, like the dirty water, the clean water, and the pneumatic arm, etc. So that's a controller. So all these shells, you know, are the electronics for what we've been seeing over there. And I literally spent years in here developing all this and redoing and redoing it. And uh, you, you learn through trial and error, and the best thing is you just hang in there until you come out the other side. So these are like the power amps that run the X, Y, and Z. And these are all the controls for the motors. This is a circuit that I made that detects the level of the paint. As you paint, you're using up the paint, so the paint level goes down. But if you want to have 7 millimeters on the brush, you need to know where that level is. So this is uses some calculus. You know how you have integrals and derivatives. So I'm taking the derivative of an analog signal and digitizing it and then using that bit information for the level of the paint. So each shelf has a different purpose. And the, the shelf we're looking at right now is some of the controls for three of the six motors on the main robot. So in the back corner there, we have a simple power supply. And then along here, these black Three black vertical things are the uh, amps, like stereos have an amps, well motors have an amps to give them the juice uh, to run, and so that's the controls for those guys.